Hello, this is November Tango 1 Kilo. My name is Jeff. I've been working on this uh, Nizu FT840 here. I purchased it pretty cheap, but it got damaged during shipping. The pot broke for the um, mic microphone gain and power out, uh, power adjustment. So I ordered a new knob from Yezu. I got it all back together. It seemed to work, and then when I started listening to radio stations, I noticed they would they would drift off frequency. Sometimes it was by 100 hertz, and sometimes it was by like 400 hertz, which um, got me concerned. But thankfully, I started googling stuff. Uh, just putting stuff through search engines and I realize this is a common problem with the FT840s that do not have the temperature controlled oscillator. All I have here is the crystal controlled oscillator right here where you see the crystal right here and an adjustment right there for that. So there was some people that said all you gotta do is just adjust this thing back and forth and you'll you'll make it much better but I'm worried about uh, the temperature changing going on around the whole unit here since you know it would probably drift frequency the more it heat up or when it cools back down so I was a little worried about that and someone else thought of that as well and they came up with a little genius idea so first thing I did was I took a can of uh, deoxid here, deoxidizer I sprayed the uh, the trimmer right here and I adjusted it back and forth but by doing that you basically adjusted the radio to be off frequency so a neat little trick to do here is to set the VFO A and VFO B to 10 megahertz so let me put this down that 10 megahertz there sorry for being upside down but so you'll notice I turned it to WWV and I might adjust it to WWV it's on lower sideband but if you notice I added 300 hertz so I also, in my other band, I added upper side band at 9.997. So there's a nice 600 kilohertz difference here. So in order to make the adjustment, you just switch back and forth between uh, VFOA and VFOB. And you try to zero beat that, that offset by adjusting this trimmer cat you'll see right here. Could adjust it. So you want to keep hitting A and B so you match it and that will complete the, um, the adjustment. And then another thing I did was I took a piece of styrofoam here, I pressed it on the top of this uh, unit here and I started trimming out, hollowing out each little uh, area and that will provide some insulation to keep the oscillator stable enough to not drift around as much. So this would make digital modes a little easier, especially like the JT65s and and whatnot. But uh, sure enough, uh, if I come across a T, a temperature controlled oscillator, I definitely replace it with that. But for now, the styrofoam insulation block will do just fine. Hopefully I can do modes like JT65. Um, I'm not sure about WSPR or, or anything like that, but modes definitely like RIDI and, and PSK will be fine, but I just didn't want to be drifting around everywhere. So hopefully that will show you exactly what you need to do. Since I got the little styrofoam here, I um, turned the trimmer just to make sure it you know there was uh, no oxidation. I also sprayed some deoxidizer in there, cleaned everything up. And I'm going to probably put a dab of glue to keep the styrofoam box in place. I tried to make it level with the cover, so even if it did move, there wouldn't be that much of a of a gap for hot air to get around. So hopefully that stops everything. We'll do some tests later on, and, and uh, I hope this uh, works out for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, please subscribe, like. And uh, check out my website, www.nt1k.com. Thank you.